life sometimes has a habit of throwing hurdles in the way and making it slightly more difficult for you to achieve what you're trying to do. And in this instance, when trying to add something to my Home Assistant dashboard, that was no exception. But I found a way and I'm going to go through that with you today. Hey everyone and welcome to a new video on Byte of Geek. So in this video, I'm gonna go through a relatively simple use case of a web scraping in Home Assistant. Now, if you don't know what web scraping is, it's basically the ability to uh, kind of like read the, the kind of like the text that you see on a, on a web page uh, to pull that information into uh, something else. So in this instance, it is going to be Home Assistant. So what's my use case then? Well, if you live in certain parts of the world where maybe your local council operates uh, different colored bins for uh, you know rubbish collection, recycling, garden waste and stuff like that, uh, you know, they probably you know, get collected on different weeks, alternate weeks, maybe monthly or something like that. Keeping track of that can be a relatively uh, tricky process. And so, you know, maybe you've got it on a calendar on the side of the fridge or you've got it on um, you know, your iPad or your mobile phone, something like that. Now, there are options within uh, Home Assistant to kind of deal with this. Uh, you know, there are a, a few inter integrations available. Uh, some of them, you know, you simply set up kind of like the schedule that your council go and uh, collect your waste. Uh, some of them you import, uh, you know, maybe like an ICS file uh, and, and let Home Assistant deal with it that way. Um, but my council doesn't uh, offer something like that. And, uh, you know, when it comes around to kind of like the winter months, uh, those collection days may change. Um, so, um, you know, web scraping is an ideal candidate for dealing with uh, my specific use case, case, which is my council's website. So in Home Assistant, in my sensors on this, this particular dashboard page, I've got a tile which shows me which uh, bin color uh, you know, needs to go out on um, this current week. It's got the date there as well. And this is just a sensor within Home Assistant that just works like all the others uh, that you know, you've already got set up in Home Assistant. So to get this set up, we need to go into settings and devices and services. Uh, now, I've already got Scrape installed, so it, it will show up for me on integrations. Uh, but if you haven't, you need to click on the Add Integration button in the bottom right-hand corner, type Scrape into the, uh, the search. Uh, there should only be one option that comes up, and you just uh, select that. Immediately, you, you will get a pop-up where it will ask you what are the details uh, for creating that new uh, Scrape from the website. But if we just take a second to go and look at what I've already got set up. So I've got a green uh, bin sensor, you can see that there, and I've got a gray one as well. And we click on it, you know, we can see that we've got the next collection date is the 1st of August. So that is all working really nicely there for me. And just clicking on the integration entities, you can see, you know, if I click on the right hand side, I can, you know, basically reconfigure this. I can add more in if I want to, you know, maybe I need to get other elements to go with that. Um, so, you know, quite flexible in what you can do. You can remove them as well if you, if you no longer need them. So my council offers a brown bin collection service, and I'm going to set this up in the same way that I've got that set up uh, for the green and the grey bin. So I just click on add entry and I get prompted for a resource. Now this is the website, the URL that I want uh, the scrape integration to go, and, uh, go off to to go and get the data from. So what I'm going to do is just navigate to my local council website and the bin collection dates. Uh, just pop in uh, my area, my road, and uh, there you go, it comes up with uh, the various dates and you can see you know, the different bin colors as well. So I'm using Microsoft Edge browser. I'm gonna use DevTools, which is built into the browser. Uh, things like Chrome, etc. you know, have similar options as well. And that's just pressing F12 will bring up uh, this DevTools window. And basically what it does is it splits your browser into what the actual website is and then all the code behind um, that web page. Now clicking on this button at the top, um, what that allows me to do is to highlight a specific element on the web page 
and uh, it will then automatically go and highlight that uh, area of code uh, for the web, uh, that element within the web page itself. Now this website, like a lot of uh, websites online, you know, they kind of like embed uh, other pages, they do it via I iframes or something like that, or they pull the content in from another page. Now, um, you, know, you saw before I had to go and navigate through a menu and enter in my uh, you know, part of my address in order to get the, uh, the collection date details. So um, just looking at this code, I can actually see that they're taking um, that information and they're building a URL on, a, on another um, web page to pull in that information to display those dates for me. So I can actually just take that URL, pop that into my browser, and that will just give me the subset of information that I'm actually after. I, I no longer now need to go and navigate around uh, you know, the whole council website just to be able to get to the information that I want. So as you can see at the top here, it's got the date of the next collection, and just using the, uh, the highlight, you know, if I click on that, then um, it immediately comes up with the area of the code uh, within the web page that is actually holding that content for that date. So popping back into Home Assistant, I'm going to put uh, the URL into the box. Uh, you know, that is the page that I want the scrape to actually look up. And you've got various other options on this, uh, this pop-up here. Um, you know, you can post data, you can put in usernames and passwords and things like that. Um, you know, you obviously, you know, there are other use cases for this, but I'm just simply uh, getting the information off a page. So I'm just going to use a get method here and leave everything else basically as it is. So next I need to define the actual scrape uh, sensor and the details I'm going to get off the web page. Uh, so the Home Assistant help page here is really useful uh, if you want to read up a bit more about all of this. I do recommend you have a look at that. So for my name, I'm going to call it the brown bin collection date. Now I need to define what is going to be taken off the web page. So I'm going to need to pop back onto the website with DevTools open and um, I need to find that value on the page that I want to get. Um, now you can see here, this is a bit of a hierarchy uh, on the page. Uh, you know, we've kind of like got a div element. Uh, you know, we've got a field set, we've got a legend, and then we've got a span. And then within that span is actually the, uh, the kind of like the data content, you know, the, the, the value that I actually want to pull off the page. I'm not really interested in anything else. Um, so if you actually look at the bottom of the screen, you will see, uh, you know, how that is actually defined, you know, kind of like that hierarchy. You can see those, uh, those bits listed there. And, uh, you know, I need to put uh, just part of that. I'm not interested in the kind of like the, the, um, the body and the HTML bit, uh, you know, that, that's kind of like a given. I need the rest of the information to go into Home Assistant. So I'm just going to enter those into the select box. Uh, I really don't need to, you know, set up anything else, but I do need to set up a value template. So um, as you can see uh, on the web page, you know, it starts off the, the, uh, the content of the span is actually a, uh, kind of like a shortened day name and then it's got the date itself. I don't really want the day bit. Um, so I'm going to say that I want uh, from character 5 up until character 15. Um, now worth mentioning here that this is zero base so it starts at zero. Uh, so it's actually you know as you look at it is actually the sixth character along where I'm starting to take the text from the screen. And I just leave the remaining things as they are and uh, set the area for this as being the rear garden, which is the same as the other bins that I've already got set up. Now, once that's done, um, you know, the name doesn't really look the same kind of thing as all the, all the others that are set up. So I'm just going to rename that now, uh, just call it a similar kind of format as the others. And, um, you know, when you look at the details, uh, you know, you can click on it, you can see that, you know, it's already got the value from the web page. As you can see there, it says the 9th of August. So that's all set up and working well. Uh, for that new scrape sensor. Now I've defined a binary template sensor uh, called Refuse Collection. Uh, you know, I don't actually use a brown bin collection service, so the green and the gray are just the two bins that I actually use in it, and this binary sensor works fine for me. Uh, so it's either in an on or an off state. Um, you know, I'm sure there's plenty of other ways you could do this, uh, but basically what I've got set here is that 
um, you know, if the uh, green bin collection date is less than the grey bin collection date, then this sensor is on. And obviously, you know, if it's not, then, you know, it'll be in, a, in an off state. And, and that works for me. Obviously, if I've got the brown bin collection, I want to start using that, then this particular method is not going to work for me and I'll have to set up something slightly different. But for now, I'm just going to leave that as is and show you how I've got that then implemented on my dashboard. So basically, this is pretty straightforward. What I'm using are conditional cards. So, um, you know, depending upon the state of that refuse collection, uh, you know, if it's currently switched on, um, then it will display the green bin card. It'll, you know, change the icon. It will change the color of the, the icon as well. So it turns it green, uh, which is uh, always good for making it uh, obvious. And if it is an, um, you know, there's obviously a, an, another card there. And if it's off, then it displays a, uh, a recycle icon and it's a dark gray. And that is the, uh, the, the second card there. Um, and it's as simple as that, and it works really, really well. This is kind of like the second uh, version of this that I've done. The previous one was a little bit more complicated than that, but this works really straightforward, really simple, and is really reliable. Now, I'm sure there are a number of different ways uh, you could achieve this, and uh, you know, if you've done something similar, or you know, you have a suggestion as to how I could improve upon this, then please, you know, feel free to drop the comments down below uh, i'd love to you know hear what you guys have got to say about it so there you go there's just one way in which you can use web scraping within home assistant obviously there's a whole host of things that you could actually do with this you know you could get latest uh, train time for your daily commute you know you could using those credentials login credentials you could uh, go and get you know kind of like package tracking and stuff like that uh, or maybe you know if you're doing um, you know you've got stocks and shares portfolio you could bring that up in home assistant the, the list is pretty endless really uh, you know it all helps to enrich what you've got displayed on your home assistant dashboard and obviously you can use all of that within automations as well um, but yeah I'd, you know I'd love to hear what you guys are getting up to if you're using uh, web scraping within a home assistant so drop that down below in the comments if you've enjoyed this video then don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel it really does help the engagement with youtube's algorithms but as always thanks for watching and i will see you in the next video bye for now